where children don't have to lock themselves in doors inside their classroom because there's a possibility that some bad man will come try to kill them and their classmates and their teachers and their friends because there's a chance that that bad man will try to kill everybody in that school and then walk away as if nothing had ever happened. There's a chance that there's some sick guy who's going to roam around and then find the school and then kill everyone inside. But do people have to lock themselves in because of that? There should not be a future where there are children who have to walk over their, their classmates to mangled unrecognizable bodies in order to try and get away from a man who's going to blow a hole at their head. Who has the nerve to kill a child? Only a psychopath. That's who I say. We have to fix this problem. If our politicians don't want to stand up, we will. United States of America, a country that is supposed to provide freedom and justice to its citizens. Then I heard of the Buffalo shooting, a shooting that killed 12 innocent people. But that apparently was only the first step. There was a person who had the thought in Uvalde, Texas, to kill 19 school children and two teachers. And no, 21 is not a statistic. Every single child there, every single teacher there, every single person there had their father or their son or their brother or their sister sending them off to school. And what happens? What? does their mother or brother or sister or father think if they don't come back? What do they think? What kind of sorrow do they face? If one of your brothers or sisters or your parents died, how would you feel? That's the kind of feeling I want you to imagine times 21 because we are grieving for the loss of 21 innocent souls, 21 souls who did nothing wrong. And what's even more heartbreaking, there were filled 15 police officers out there, all armed to the teeth, and they could not take out the lone gunman there, who had no experience with firearms, was 18, and was shooting up a crowd of kids. How disgusting is that? And no, this is not an isolated incident. Because things like this happen all over the United States. In fact, many people may say the US has a gun culture that cannot be extinguished. The United Kingdom, Australia, many other countries had a gun culture at some point in their history. And they all disappeared because they banned guns. Many politicians say that banning guns won't solve the problem. For example, Ted Cruz of Texas may say, I mean, why don't we ban cars? Drunk drivers kill hundreds of people every year, so cars are a cause of death, meaning we should ban cars. But cars are not the same thing as guns. Guns are used almost exclusively to kill. And cars not only are pretty bad for other reasons, such as environmental issues, but they're also used to get around, not to kill people or run people off the road. So, that is my point. Why aren't we banning guns? Let me give you some examples. In the United Kingdom, in Hungerford, there was a mass shooting where some guy named Michael Ryan, who was 27, killed 16 people with a semi-automatic rifle. Then, the Firearms Act of 1988, which was created in response, completely banned all semi-automatic rifles for public use. Then, 
then, in 1996, there was another shooting, another tragedy. This time at an elementary school in England. And there, so many school children were killed by a handgun. And then, you know what the United Kingdom did? In the Firearms Act of 1997, they banned handguns. And now, look at the homicide rate in the United Kingdom as of 2022. 0.02 oh, death rate by, death by homicide for every 1,000 people in the United Kingdom. And meanwhile, the United States has 4.9 deaths by homicide per 1,000 people. In Australia, they've done the same thing. They burned a million guns, and now there's no more gun culture. There's been barely any shootings. Same in Germany, Norway, New Zealand. But you know what is so stubborn? The single country that is so stubborn that it refuses to do anything about mass shootings like these? The United States. The United States had had 77 shootings since January. Mass shootings, not homicides, mass shootings. And it's not, the year hasn't even passed its halfway mark yet. How can incidents like this happen? I'll tell you how. These kind of incidents happen because politicians don't care about the lives of our children, the lives of our elderly. They don't care about the lives of our people, and we need to change that. Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy said, Politicians want to hold on to power, and it is costing us the lives of our children. What is sickening to me is that Etc. Etc. There are rules about cigarettes, and same thing for alcohol. If you're under 21, you can't drink it. If you're female uh, and you're pregnant, or if you're intolerant to this or that, you can't drink alcohol or liquor. But guns, guns. mental issues, if you have the mental capacity to handle them, what you are going to use those guns for. All they ask you is, are you over 18? That means my brother, who turned 19 just a month ago, he could easily buy a rifle and some ammunition without anybody checking on what he was doing and then shoot up an entire crowd of people. That's how easy it is to obtain a gun in this country. When in other countries, there are almost no mass shootings because they've tightened up and restricted the gun laws. Why does this keep happening? Because Americans say that they have a gun culture that can't be erased by big laws such as the ones that have been passed in other countries. I saw a child on the way there standing by her parents. And what is heartbreaking to me is that in one week, one month, a year, that child could be killed just as easily in a school shooting, which would be unfathomable in any other developed country. I see a future where children don't have to lock themselves in doors inside their classroom because there's a possibility that some bad man will come try to kill them and their classmates and their teachers and their friends 
because there's a chance that that bad man will try to kill everybody in that school and then walk away as if nothing had ever happened. There was a chance that there's some sick guy who's going to roam around and then find the school that kill everyone inside. But the people have to lock themselves in because of that. There should not be a future where there are children who have to walk over their, their classmates mangled, unrecognizable bodies in order to try and get away from a man who's going to blow a hole at their head. Who has the nerve to kill a child? Only a psychopath. That's who I say. We have to fix this problem. If our politicians don't want to stand up, we will. According to a survey by CBS, 54% of Americans, the majority of Americans, want gun laws to be tightened. Only 16% of them want them to be loosened. And what's even more, there are people holding this issue down in the Senate because they want to tug on to power. People who want their senatorship at the, and they don't care about the cost of the lives of children all around the United States. I cannot take speaking about this anymore because children my age and younger are dying at school. People go to school to learn. They don't go to school to be shot. Are we going to have a repeat of Sandy Hook over and over and over and over again? I don't think we should. The United States, between 2009 to 2018 alone, had the first most shootings, mass shootings to be exact, and Mexico had second. You know how many Mexico had? Eight. And do you know how many the United States had? It had 36 times that number. 288. It sickens me to the core how people can even think of doing this kind of... I can't describe this kind of act. People my age and younger are being killed in schools where they seek to learn not to be shot. And that is why I believe that we should make gun laws tighter, as with every single person in this, in this country that has heard of the repercussions of things like Sandy Hook, the repercussions of holding off gun laws, and the repercussions of letting anybody over a certain age be able to get a gun, no matter any mental evaluations in the past. I can't speak anymore on this. Thank you, and I hope you support what I am saying.